ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल In this video we are going to create a sand blast photo effect in Photoshop CS6 extended It will be fun and crazy so let's jump in Photoshop Welcome back everyone. My name is Nan Chaudhary from Test Tutorials. And in this video, we will do a sand blast photo effect. It is not a sand storm effect. It's a sand blast effect. Sand storm effect works in sand storm works in a straight work uh, straight way, but this is uh, will be in a blast way. So I hope you like this effect. Uh, before we start, some people are facing problems uh, using downloading those actions which I have used. and which i have provided so uh, here i am going to announce that uh, i have changed the medium of uh, uh, file uploading uh, in previous days i was uh, or we can say that in past i was just uploading uh, data from uh, my computer to one drive but now i am going to upload all of the data instead of one drive i will upload them on google drive so i have tested that google drive is much faster than uh, one drive in in context of accessing the files and downloading the files and previewing the files so it will be easy to all of you for all of you guys to download those files because if you are easy then i am easy okay so everything means to you and uh, yeah i am always here if you facing problem you can probably just uh, go to comment section and just post a comment so i could try my best to reply every comment and uh, let's start our work without wasting any time you can see that this simple image uh let's just close everything from here so this is a simple image i just increase the side room of this image and uh, run these actions uh this is the final effect there are some color options here you can see that there are lots of color options uh, uh you can see that uh, 11 12 color options here you can change them different style you can see that some matte colors some uh we can say that uh, soft colors these are matte colors so I hope you like this uh, effect and uh, you can even increase the detail of this image by just copying this you can increase the detail as much as you can and uh, yeah it will first uh, amazing effect so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time and uh, let's just close this one and move to the next example this bike rider i love this effect because of its uh, blast effect you can see that running these actions uh, you can see that uh, it will create a very hyper effect uh the selection was this and just running these actions and you will see the result amazing i love this effect because of its uh, highest detail and uh, yes again you can copy this detail and you can uh, make as much detail as you want so let's just close this example also and move to the next example uh this is a simple image uh creating selection or we can say that giving a way to use these uh, action and running our actions and the final results are here look at this a uh, fabulous effect here are some different detail these are some large particle you can edit them use them uh, or uh, these are some medium particles and uh, you can even uh, here is the option to add more density like uh, this one Uh, oops here we have feather and uh, uh, you can turn off the shadows make it or not your choice and uh, you can make it a little more uh, complex by turning off this dust and uh, this is small color particles base particles which are keep uh, picked from this image you can make copy of them and it will look more nice 
so uh, this is the base particles and this is the overall particles you can see that I have just copied twice these particles and you will see it looks nice so this is the basic effect I hope you like this and there are some color options as I showed you uh, like uh, uh, this one this one you can make it uh, insane you can see that it looks fiery effect so let's just close this one and move to the next example there are different directions here this is the middle one and uh, looks fabulous in all directions uh, there are uh, everything inside that you can see that or open this and uh, basically this is slow because of it is very uh, I, I would like to say here is heavy image so these are large particles small particles and uh, these are some dust this is the particle effect this is a basic effect blur you can turn this off and uh, use it but blur gives much better look so I hope you like this effect close this one also move to the next example and this is the example to the downside if we burst this downside you can turn this dust uh, where is the dust uh, here we have dust off and uh, uh, yes the dust is at this time is off and uh, this is the base particles and this is the blur particles here this is the large particles feather and this is the bigger particles so let's start our work without wasting any further time uh, we will go going to use uh, this example image for our basic effect looks cool and this is the natural image so that's why I use this so if you it looks much better to give you these kind of examples so you could understand very nicely so let me just show you uh, what we need to do before we run our actions so first of all use the high definition image as I showed you here in this image you can see that the size of the document is 1900 pixels it means that it is a very high definition image and uh, yes 72 pixels per inch its uh, resolution and this is a 8 bit per mode or we can say that 8 bit per channel and before we do anything else just go to this layer panels and click on panel options from the panel options make sure that you have a add copy to copy it layers and groups so hit ok now it's time to start our work uh, before we start let me just increase the side of uh, this room so we could see much detail so we will just increase this from the side you can see that uh, I think we are fine with this one so click on check mark that's it and now what we need to do is just click and we will increase the side like uh, this now we'll copy this press ctrl T and just increase like this I know it's not a good thing but for the time being it looks much better you can see that there is no big difference between this so press shift select all of these and we will make a single uh, image so if you have not a locked layer like this if you have this layer just go to layer new and background from selected layer I always mention all of these steps because of if you are new on my channel you don't have to be worried about anything else so this is the basic thing we have done now what we will do is we will get a new layer name this layer as selection okay s e l e t i o and selection it it this all name will be in lower case so there is no problem so hit enter to accept this name now we will go to brush tool before we brushing anything else let's just load our actions so if you don't see this uh, play button icon just go to windows and click on actions or the shortcut key is alt plus f9 so click on actions you will see that there are lots of things here uh sand blast here and uh, uh, just start our work so we will delete this one and we will go to this right uh, uh, panel icon option and click on load actions from the load actions open the uh, folder which you have downloaded from my given link when you will open that there is a one file which is named sandblast so select this file and click on load okay so this is loaded now there are different directions left right up down middle I have checked all of these everything is working fine here so don't be worried about that for this image we will use a left because this side is empty so it's best to use on this side so before we run our actions we need to give some selection so go to your brush tool 
select your brush tool make a hard brush or soft brush it's your choice i would like to use a hard brush and size should be a little bigger or smaller it's again your choice image is high definition so don't worry about that now uh, go to color and change the foreground color to any color i would like to use this green color which looks much visible to any color so now select your selection layer and we need to give selection the area you will uh, select the burst will be picked from this area okay so keep in mind this thing now we need to give a little selection so uh, make sure that you are doing it right way like this and uh, make it logical so everything will be fine like this make it simple keep it simple it looks nice i suggest you like uh, this one don't be filled with the area just need to give little selection it will make burst from it so like this you can make it bigger size it's not a big deal that's great and give some select some metal and select some brakes it will looks nice that's cool don't worry about that just make small selection so the data will be picked from that side cool and that's it i think i am fine with this we have selected a lot of area uh, i don't think so we should do that but uh, for the time being i just test what will be the result so our selection is done our background is ready now we need to run our actions so go to this uh, icon and select your left side select your side which you have you which you want to use and why you want to use left side so we'll click on play button and we will not perform the purge because purge is already included in this so don't worry about that so just click on play button and we will wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is complete you can see there just close the side panel and you will see this mind blasting of, of uh, output you can see that and uh, for quickly close everything here press ctrl alt and click and it will close everything at once and now we'll take a look which we need to edit or not so this is the large particles and uh, we need to left them as them as they are these are some uh, masking particles this is the dust if you want to turn this off or on your choice and uh, this is the base particles you can make copies of it and it look it will looks nice so you can use blur or not if you blur blur it, it looks like it is attached with the sides so i think you should use blur and this is the basic output so i hope you like this output and yes there are lots of uh, things here like uh, uh, color options so these are some color options you can use this is the bluest one this is the hard colors and uh, this is the color options you can see that lots of color options you can use here i would like to this one because it's nice and uh, so this is the basic effect i hope you like this effect and uh, let's just twice this effect to make it visible uh, but it looks much bit weird so it looks nice here and make it sharp copy this copy this copy this and it will look more sharp so this is the fact and uh, this is the selection which we have made run this action run every time and it will make a random selection so don't worry about that and um, yes i think we are fine with this one and uh, you can make your choice uh, colors 
like this you can make it uh, much change changed color like this one so I would like to go uh, tell you that play with these actions you will find a lot more cool things when you will play with this so all the files are link given in the description bar which file I have used all the links are given in the description bar you can free download them just go to the link go to my blog and you will download these actions so I hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and we will meet our next video never stop and keep learning